to my channel. Hope everybody's doing well. I know we're now into our third week of quarantine and it's starting to really weigh down on everybody, but I still hope everyone's doing okay, staying active out there. It's so, so important um, to just keep yourself busy. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're not, thank you again for tuning in. I appreciate you guys all so much. Uh, today's episode's kind of inspired by quarantine. I know there's a lot of people who I've actually, just like me, started a YouTube channel or want to start a podcast or want to do something that they could, you know, keep themselves busy while they're still at home. And I thought it would be the perfect time to introduce a how to start your own podcast for beginners video. So this one is super beginner in the sense that it's all free. So here I have a list of everything you need to know before you start your podcast. When I first started about two months ago with my friend, we were at a loss. Okay, we thought it would be so easy to set up, but there's quite a few different platforms to choose from, and we didn't know what an RSS feed was, we didn't know what storage to choose, and I'm just here to simplify everything for you guys and to break it down. And you know, a lot of people have been reaching out saying, do you, can you get monetized off this? So I have all your questions and I'm ready to answer them because when I first started, it took a lot of research. And once again, I'm here to help you make sure that you don't have to do your research and I'll do it for you. So first and foremost, what's a podcast? Honestly, it's, I feel like it's really hard to describe, but it's just simply a conversation between two people or more uh, discussing a certain topic and you just basically publicize your conversation. It could be about anything. Some of my favorite podcasts are about crime, so I really think that's super interesting. The ones that I have with my friends are about a huge range of lifestyle topics, boys, drama, etc., etc. Um, you know, I know some people who like to do podcasts for psychology, uh, storytelling, anything. Okay, so podcasts are kind of trending right now, which is why... I want to jump right into this video. Um, so one of the most important things for me when I was starting, seeing I'm a small time podcaster with my friend, is I didn't want to pay a cent. I don't know if I'm going to do well, right? I don't want to start be dishing out $20 a month for a platform and have to pay it for it without getting anything in return. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do a podcast completely, completely free. Um, second step you want to just kind of determine the content that you want so what direction do you want to go into who are you starting your podcast with this is all stuff you have to discuss right what kind of cover art I'm more artistic so I do all the artsy design and my friends more tech savvy so she does all the snipping the podcasts together so we don't we are we both have our own kind of jobs that we have to do so these first two things are kind of very basic. It's all personal. It's up to you. The third step is quite important. Uh, it's the podcast hosting platform. So that's kind of what it's called. You can't just decide to upload your sound into anything. So it has to be a podcast hosting platform. So today I'm going to go over the top five free ones and tell you which one is the ultimate best that I use and I love and I swear by. So stay tuned. Okay, so first thing is what are we looking for in a podcast hosting platform? One, lots of storage space. Two, a large bandwidth. What's a bandwidth? It's pretty much just um, like the max amount of data that you can transfer. Uh, in other simpler words, I'm sorry, I keep looking down. I got a little paper here. Uh, is basically your internet speed. So as your podcast is streaming, does it take forever to load or is it super fast? Three. RSS feed slash link. Okay, so what's an RSS link? Well, um, the best way I could explain it is a URL for your podcast. Just like how a URL is a link for a website, a RSS link is a link for your sound, for your podcast. So what that means is if you have that link, you can paste it into Spotify, you can paste it into another web player, you can paste it into Apple, Google Music, 
and they will play it for you automatically. You don't have to update it, okay? It's like a server that just keeps on generating information and it takes all your podcasts from your hosting platform and sends it to your distribution sites such as Spotify and Google Music and Apple Music without you having to update it. So it's really important to find a good host website with a good RSS link. You physically can't get started making podcasts if you don't have an RSS link. Four, analytics. So important to see who's listening in, right? So you really want a good analytic system on your podcast hosting platform. And finally, five, monetization, which in other words means can you make money through your podcasts? Always a benefit if you can, am I right? Yeah. So I'm going to go in reverse order. I'm going to start with my least favorite, but still worthy of a mention, all the way down to my absolute favorite, the one that I use. So stay tuned, okay? So the first one I'm going to go over is, I would say, my least favorite. And only because the free version only gives you two hours of audio. That's really not enough. Generally speaking, they can range anywhere between 15 upwards to an hour and a half. So if you're doing a long episode podcast and you only have two hours of audio, clearly that's not enough. And on top of it, your episode gets deleted after 90 days. So this is not my, like my least favorite platform, but why this has made the list is because it goes from $12 up to $24 per month. If you do get the premium, it is an extremely amazing platform. Um, there's over 50,000 users. It's super easy to use and it's great for distribution. So I only added it to the list for the paid reason. The free, I really would steer clear. Okay, so next is actually SoundCloud. So um, the free version, you get three hours of upload time, which is okay, it's not bad, and you get stats. It ranges also from $6 upwards to 12 and the benefits of the free account is that there's so much traffic on SoundCloud that you're pretty much using it for popularity and for listens and views and access. So that's why it's quite great, um, but you do have limited stats. Obviously, if you pay for it, you get more, and once again, you cannot monetize. My next one, which is right in the middle, is Spreaker. The speaker is not bad. You've got five hours of audio, a lot better, um, and you're even allowed to go live. So that's super cool. So you get to talk and people get to listen in live. But it's only up to 15 minutes per episode. 15 minutes to us isn't always enough, and uh, it sucks having to time yourself and like when you have so much content you want to go through, but you have to stop yourself at 15 minutes. It also ranges from $7 upwards all the way to $45 per month. Um, so that's also why I made the list is because it's really the live um, detail that I think is so, so cool. You get to go live broadcasting. You can chat with your listeners. Like, you can find people and audience through the app. So that's why it's super cool. However, it's still not my favorite because your statistics and analytics are very limited and it's all based on how much you're willing to pay. So once again, I wasn't ready to pay. I would not suggest Spreaker. My next one, which is almost my second favorite, is called Podbean. It's such a cute name, so honestly, I love it. It's, it's so cute. And five hours of storage of it as well, really great. You got 100 gigabytes of bandwidth, so that's not bad. That's pretty good. But the issue with this one is you can't monetize. All the ones I've just mentioned, you can't monetize with the free version. If you're willing to pay, then obviously you can monetize. But like I said, I was not willing to pay. It goes from $9 per month all the way up to $99 for a business. So if you're willing to you know, upgrade to the $9 one, then you're going to have much more options. Um, but why Podbean makes this list is because even for the free version, it's very easy to use and you get a free subdomain and website. So that's super cool because you don't have to go out and like do your own website. You have something that you can directly broadcast from. So that's why I also really like Podbean. Drum roll please for the ultimate best hosting platform. Okay. Anchor. Anchor is completely free, as in there's no paid version. Like, you can't even choose a paid version. It's just all free. All free, okay? Unlimited upload hours. Unlimited bandwidth. You can monetize. Great analytics. 
and you get a public site so you get your domain as well and you can pre-schedule podcasts guys anchor is the best i'm going to tell you a little bit about it okay so it took me hours of research to find it there's not much information on it and i don't know why like people don't seem to mention anchor when they talk about hosting platforms and i don't get it because it's amazing for beginners and it's so so free okay so it was acquired actually by spotify in 2019 which means that spotify does own anchor okay um Maybe that's why they're able to be completely free because Spotify has so much money. So that's how you're able to operate for free. So on Anchor, you can record your audio directly on it or you can record it elsewhere and bring it onto Anchor. Currently, that's how my friend and I operate because we are in remote locations. But if you're already here, then you can film directly on it. You can edit directly on it. It's really an all-in-one app. Next, what's great about it is, as I mentioned, free unlimited upload hours. So just upload away, okay? Do whatever you want. Doesn't matter what time you have. It could be an hour, two hours, three hours. Doesn't matter. Upload it away. It's perfect. Bandwidth, same thing. Unlimited. When I found out this app, I was honestly blown away. I was just like, why is this not more popular? Like, I just didn't understand. And as I said... It's the only app that lets you monetize for free. How does monetization work? Well, there's a thing called CPM, and it's actually called click per mil, and mil is like a thousand. So it's how much a sponsor is willing to pay per a thousand listens. So for instance, let's say your sponsor is willing to pay 20 CPM, okay? Your episode comes out this week, and it gets a thousand and five hundred listens. But your previous episode got 500 listens as well. So just this week alone, you have 2,000 listens, which means your sponsor with his 20 CPM is going to pay you $40 this week because you have 2,000 listens this week. Um, Anchor also monet gives you money as well if you give Anchor a shout out. Like, hey guys, I'm filming on Anchor, etc. They give you a little blurb that you're supposed to... Um, read out verbatim and it also gets CPM. I think their CPM is 15, which is also not bad if your podcast starts to gain a lot of traction. So that's a pretty good number considering you film it and then you just sit there and wait for the money to roll in. That being said, it does take a lot of time obviously to build to the thousand mark. So be patient and you will successfully get there. So I'm just going to wrap it up really quickly on these five platforms. So as you can see, I've listed them by name. In highlighted in pink is Anchor. It's definitely my favorite, as you guys can see. And here are just the little tidbits that I said. Um, feel free to screenshot this and use this for reference. Uh, I made it for you guys so that it's super simple as to why I definitely think Anchor is the best option. So you guys can go ahead and screenshot this. Okay, so on that note, I definitely think with all the information you guys have, you are ready to get started, okay? If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can leave a comment below or just, you know, DM me or message me somewhere and I will definitely get back to you guys ASAP. Um, as mentioned, these are my five favorite hosting platforms, but by far the best one for small-time podcaster beginners who don't want to pay is Anchor, by far. Okay, just listen to me. Don't even bother with the other ones unless you're willing to pay. And just go ahead to Anchor and just get yourself set up and start podcasting tomorrow or today even. Okay, because it's not like you guys are doing anything else. Am I right? Guys, uh, I guess we're going to end this video here. I hope this was educational and, and that you guys get started on your podcast, okay? So, um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys all next week. Mwah!